Hey, Jeff Ray here, Economic Outlook. We're out in the field today. We're talking about Four Winds Field in particular. We've had Andrew Berlin, the owner of the South Bend Cubs, on with us before. Andrew, welcome, and thank you thank for joining you. us again. So, Andrew, yeah. talk to us a little bit about what's happening behind us today. Well, we came out here to play some baseball, and we found the field all <laughs> ripped up behind us, so uh, that's not going to happen. No, we had a, we had a groundbreaking ceremony to celebrate uh, the building of uh, Four Winds Field uh, 3.0. This is uh, the third iteration of uh, Four Winds Field that we're working on, and it's going to be magnificent. Andrew, we were in the studio in the spring. We talked a little bit about what was happening out here. Just give us a, just a, a reminder of, of what's happening over the So baseball season just ended a few days ago. Right. And, and Ernest at work here, talk to us a little bit about what's going to happen over the winter months, why people aren't visiting the baseball park. Yeah, so um, we began, obviously we've begun construction. You can see it behind us. Uh, the field surface itself uh, has a, a lifespan of about seven years. So it's a little bit over seven years right now. So the first thing we want to do is to scrape up the grass, replace all the turf, do all the drainage, and then plant that grass and be ready for next season. What's happening off the grass and around the stadium, uh, we're taking the roof off the stadium to make room for a second deck from end to end, from you know, right field corner, left field corner, and uh, we're going to be adding suites and more seats. Uh, we're adding kitchens so we can have a greater variety of food for the, for the fans. Um, it's going to be an amazing experience for the kids. We're putting a lazy river in, we're putting more splash pads in, we're putting a uh, waterfall in. Kids will have a wonderful time if they're not watching baseball. But even more importantly, this is going to be a jewel for the fans of baseball and for the fans of the city of South Bend because Folks come to the ballpark not always to watch baseball. They come to visit with family and friends, and they're going to have an opportunity to do that uh, in, in grand style going forward. Andrew, thank you for sharing your vision. This is really exciting, and thanks for making this happen. You mentioned in your remarks today that projects like this don't happen without a team effort. Talk about the team that came together to make this project move forward. Yeah, this is extraordinary. I mean, people talk about team efforts all the time, and so after a while, the statement sounds almost kind of trite or ordinary. Um, here, it was absolutely the case. Um, state government the city government, uh, you know, as the owner of the South Bend team, minor league baseball, major league baseball, legislatures, uh, you know, f I mean, around the state, everybody supported this project. There really was not a single person that I can even think of that didn't want to see us succeed here. But over years, we've built some, such goodwill with the community. We've, we've returned, you know, terrific economic impacts to the city of South Bend. It's been an engine of growth in downtown South Bend. And it's been authentic. There's, there's, no, there's nothing flashy here except for the fact that a lot of people put a lot of hard work to make this a very special corner of South Bend. And, and we've been rewarded with it by all the support. So team effort, absolutely. Everyone we've touched, everyone we have done business with is very supportive. And, and I take great, great pride in that. Great. So 35 years in the making, 35 plus years in the making. I think, uh, you know, years ago we talked about the, the catalytic impact the ballpark might have. We're now starting yeah. to see this yeah. in the neighborhood. And so thank you for the significant investment you've made and, and the difference you've made here at the ballpark. So as, as we wrap up, we've just finished uh, the baseball season. Just yeah. re reflect on, for just a quick second on the last baseball season and, and, and what that was like for you, the fans, uh, everybody out here at Fort Winsfield. Well, it was very supportive. We, we had a, a, another you know, record year. Uh, the fan experience, the weather was co cooperative. Uh, the team had its ups and downs. We, I don't think we're going to win a championship this year, but that's what's so wonderful about our fans. Um, if, if you had a business that was dependent upon just wins instead of losses, um, your business would be you know, up and down and it wouldn't be a very good business. But if you can create a, a, an experience in coming to the ballpark, very much like what Wrigley has done over the years. I mean, the Cubs won in 2016, hadn't won since 1908 at that point, but the fan experience is so great at Wrigley. We tried to replicate some of that here so that people would come out for the stadium, not just for the baseball. Great, it's one of my favorite places to visit in the summer. Thank you for making a great experience. Yeah. He's Andrew Berlin, he's the owner of the South Bend Cubs. Andrew, thanks for uh, including us in your it's ceremony a pleasure. today. Thank you, you so much. Result.